Japanese has taken robotics to a whole new level with lifelike humanoids, AI-driven artists, and factory robots. They have been developing robots that are so advanced that they will make you wonder about the essence of humanity. These futuristic creations are undoubtedly redefining social interaction for humans, which can substitute human beings on work and redefine social relationships. In today's video, let us explore those truly remarkable inventions which I personally think is mind-blowing. Japanese dolls. Japan never fails to meet expectation in the scope of engineering. While other countries are still trying to build technologically effective dolls, Japan has already manufactured robotic dolls available for purchase. The dolls are made of thermoplastic elastomer and created to mimic humans accurately. Hence, the dolls look soft and skin-like. Furthermore, these dolls enable men to purchase the robots as companion partners. These dolls have a poseable skeleton made of metal which makes these dolls easy to pose. Sadly, just like all other breaks in robotics, these dolls still have not reached the pinnacle of technological advancement. These dolls at this stage of progress well-crafted, but still not advanced enough to replace real partners. The emotional depth, warmth, and the dynamic complexities of human relationships which these dolls fail to fulfill makes them unable to function like real dolls. Mia is a hyper-realistic female robot designed and built by Shenzhen Fan Real Art Development Company from China. Mia is constructed from high-end silicone, which gives her skin a lifelike texture while allowing her to be durable. This distinguishes her from other robotics masterpieces. Mia has a weight of 33 kilograms, a height of 158 centimeters, and a metallic skeleton which is capable of articulation. Therefore, Mia is capable of lifelike movements. Its design allows for butter-like transitions from one pose to the other, which makes it more lifelike. Because of her realism, Mia can be used in many ways both personally and professionally. The robot was given special features such as a face and body features with implanted eyebrows and eyelashes, which adds to the realism she possessed. Mia's silicone replicates skin softness and elasticity, giving the user a mind-blowing experience. An optional voice module feature allows Mia to interact and converse on several topics, which makes Mia even more appealing. The average price to get Mia is approximately $2,800, but it can change based on the additional features chosen. KD Dolls, a Chinese company, has set the bar high in robotics with its latest innovation, Eva, a hyper-realistic female robot. With a height of 165 centimeters, Eva is equipped with advanced technology, making her appearance and movements lifelike. From high-grade silicone Eva's realistic skin to having a lightweight steel skeleton with advanced movable joints that allow her to pose naturally, she is the perfect balance between ease of use and realism at only 35 kilograms. Not only is Eva lightweight, but she is also easy to use. Eva is not only customizable, but also user-friendly. Buyers have the freedom to select her skin color, makeup style, eye color, and hairstyle. With exceptional details such as eyebrows, eyelashes, and contouring, her face is so realistic she is almost indistinguishable from a real woman. Empowered with AI, she can hold basic conversations, respond to commands, and perform tasks making her the perfect companion, customer service agent, or creative assistant. Ava's versatility makes her exceptional value at the price range of $2,500 to $3,000. Elenoid This is Elenoid, a hyper-realistic female robot built by the Technical University of Darmstadt in Central Europe. Elenoid is still under construction, and as with any technological advancement, researchers are still looking into how she will affect society. As one would imagine, the very first impression of meeting the robot is a mix of marvel and discomfort. Elenoid maintains an astonishing 170cm tall, medium-length hair that is partially real, as well as a realistic face capable of movement, unlike most robots. She also operates with limbs and fingers that can be moved. People interacting with Elenoid report of feeling discomfort and fascination from her use of hyper-realistic mode. During a demo where hyper-realism was used, a wide array of participants reported a feeling a blend of discomfort and wonder. While some participants who embraced the discomfort chose to take selfies with her, many more decided to ignore her completely. Many decided to stay passive, only observing her from afar. One of Elenoid's more interesting characteristics is her silicon hands which make for smoother human-robot interaction. Simroid has been built to assist untrained dentists practice on robotic patients. It was developed by Japanese engineers and Marita Manufacturing, a company which specializes in digital electronics. The first prototype of the robot was introduced in 2007, and with every year this robot becomes more advanced. While most training dental mannequins are still lifeless, Simroid looks and behaves closer to a human. An outer layer of silicone skin covers the machine like real skin, and the model's mouth has a plethora of sensors. 
When a novice dentist makes movements that would pains to a patient, the robot attempts to relieve the pain by jerking or uses voice alerts to notify the doctor. In addition to the robot itself, the system comprises two cameras, which the instructor uses to watch the assistant patient's diagnosis and surgery. Imaging the developers, the system is already 99% operational, but still needs work. That said, a commercial version may be available in the foreseeable future. Amira. A British firm has really outdone themselves with the invention of Amira, a humanoid robot whose AI is changing the way people interact with technology. Amira has the capability to speak over 7,000 languages. However, she has been specially trained to speak English for major international events. At the moment, this AI-enabled humanoid robot is helping in shaping the future policies of the world's nations by providing assistance in the implementation of policy dialogue, innovation, and digital transformation. Amira's capability to engage in small talk is truly captivating. Through SuperCloud, Amira's responses to human interaction are lifelike because she is able to process information in real time. From education to entertainment and even making important strategic decisions, Amira is enabling the world to experience the new era of AI-powered communication. Amira has sophisticated computer vision systems integrated with artificial intelligence that enable her to automatically recognize and track people, objects, and faces, and interact with them in the most meaningful way. AI Da is a real-life example of technological wonders. She is the first ever performance artist robot in the world, skilled at drawing, coloring, and performing. Being a machine with artificial intelligence, she possesses an artist personality and all the skills that comes with it. From painting to collaborative sculpturing, all of it is accompanied by her stunningly realistic AI-created artworks. Her body was built with robothespian technology, AI-DA, which allows her to perform over 60 human bodily movements, including looking around, bending down, and rotation. In order to move, she is able to either stand or sit, and although she lacks the ability to walk, her mobility is unessential as a performer. AI DA is able to draw objects by analyzing them with her cameras. With the help of AI, a virtual path is created around the object she wants to draw, and after it is set, she is able to use a pencil to perform sketches through her bionic hand. AI DA is also capable of drawing pencil portraits Wahan. She has the ability to scan and recognize faces through cameras in her eyes. Once she memorizes the face, she is able to reproduce it on paper with her robotic hand. Furhat, a social robot is a robot capable of displaying emotions, possessing advanced communication abilities, understanding emotions, forming social relationships, exhibiting personality, and learning social skills. A social robot is, in other words, a robot with a sophisticated aerotypical intelligence and social interface. The most important social challenge is the relation robot's interaction, which is often completely unrealistic. Furhat Robotics is working on a new scalable platform for social robotics. Furhat is a fully programmable robot built on this platform. Unlike previously developed robots that could only perform certain tasks, Furhat can now have realistic conversations with people and can express emotions. Developers equipped the robot with a wide-angle high-resolution camera, stereo speakers, and high-quality microphones, enabling it to function as an interactive training robot. Furhat can project faces like an adult man, an adult woman, a child, and even an animal. Furhat not only can talk and listen, but can also make and maintain eye contact, show emotion, and act as a customer in different situations, from an annoyed shopper in a store to a candidate at a job interview or client who just received unfortunate news from an employee. Apollo. Aptronics Apollo is perhaps one of the most sophisticated robots because at first, it may seem like a friendly and cute piece of technology. However, in reality, it is engineered to perform menial tasks that humans do today. With a height of 173 centimeters and weighing 73 kilograms, Apollo was developed as a humanoid android designed to perform intensive mechanized work. Apollo can function for a duration of four hours, has the capability to lift maximum load of 25 kilograms, and operates without battery replacement. In the past eight years, Aptronic has built a number of humanoid robots and a handful of exoskeletons. Differing from previous models, Apollo was engineered with a stronger intent for commercialization, meaning the developers had to pay attention to factors that were unnecessary before like dimensions, maintainability, and reliability, and cost efficiency. Consequently, engineers made the decision to construct a basic robot that could be assembled for different customers. This robot is planned to be the first iPhone in the robot world, which means it will have powerful capabilities, easy to use, and multifunctional. Aptronic has finished two prototypes and is working on four more at the moment. Icon 3D Printed Home 
Texas-based company Icon is known for their 3D printers and is now looking to pulverize records with their newest model, the Pheonix. While in Austin recently, their model printed a two-story home in record time for astonishingly lower cost. The Icon 3D printed home is the holy grail of affordable housing, and with the new printer, the company looks set to revolutionize housing. Phoenix uses significantly less setup time than its predecessor Vulcan, so it can be employed more flexibly with the available labor while also being more easily moved to increase the speed of work on large projects. Because of this, the expense for utilizing the printer is now lower, making it more reasonable for use in bigger projects. Instead of fixed columns and crossbeams restricting movement, the new model has a giant mobile arm that is mounted on a rotating base. The changes make it more agile than the previous model, Vulcan. The newly implemented system allows users to save an average of $25,000 when constructing the standard American house. The wall systems cost $25 per square foot, while the roof and foundation are $80 per square foot. Rainbow Robotics has introduced the RBY-1 robot that can move on wheels and has two arms. The company recently signed a MOU with the SHARE Group as well as the Korea Electronics Technology Institute for the joint development of RBY-1 along with other mobile manipulators in Korea. There has been a surge in the development of humanoid robots during the past year. A majority of these robots are bipedal, while some are called Fully Automated Sersal Robots, or FAMSARs, which have a single arm manipulator and are also called Unmanned Ground Vehicles, UGV. The RBY-1 has a mobile robot platform with a humanoid dual-arm robot on top of it. This mobility base was manufactured by Rainbow Robotics with the intention of allowing the robot to traverse certain spaces and move its arms for performing manipulative activities. The company refers to this type of configuration as a bi-manual manipulator which allows an assortment of complex functions to be performed. Both arms of the RBY-1 has 7 degrees of freedom and the torso has 6 axes of rotation, permitting vertical movement greater than 50 cm. Because of this, the robot is able to perform tasks at different heights. At the University of Tokyo, designers and engineers have developed a robotic backpack known as the Gaitai Arm, which enables users to attach up to 6 mechanical arms. The device is worn on the torso and fastened with numerous straps. Users may choose between humanoid hands and grippers. Without the robotic arms, the weight of the backpack is 4.1 kg. This increases to 14 kg with the robotic arms attached. There is a special configuration which is used to control the motion of the arms that resembles a miniature version of the device. Currently, there are certain problems with controlling the arm via the robotic backpack. Often, it becomes necessary for several people to collaborate, and user intervention is necessary. This is the primary issue which requires resolution. However, further development of neural interfaces could very easily lead us to a reality where this control can be achieved through pure thought, allowing the user to articulate the robotic arms as if they were their own. Kawasaki Kaleido What would it look like if incredibly advanced humanoid robots could assist in the search and rescue missions of stricken regions? How about if these robots could take care of critically sick patients or elderly individuals? Let me tell you a story about robotics that goes beyond this. Kawasaki Heavy Industries, or Kawasaki as they are known for short, is one of the few companies that have made substantial progress towards achieving these goals. Some of the developments that are most impressive is humanoid robot known as Kaleido. In the near future, it is expected to work in high-risk areas such as collapsed buildings, fire-infected places, and zones struck by natural disasters. The developers believe that one day it may be possible for it to operate on the ocean floor and even in space. It uses human tools so we can easily understand its functions. Its strength, simplistic nature, and mechanistic capabilities make Kaleido one of the most entertaining and prospective innovations of modern technology. Kernel, an American startup, successfully invented a revolutionary helmet prototype, Kernel Flow, that scans a person's brain to help researchers understand what is happening in their mind. Each device consists of several modules, and each module contains two lasers which have different light wavelengths to be targeted at the user's brain. The brain's light reflection is captured by the special detectors, and using the time the light takes to reach the brain and travel back, the system calculates the duration. With this data, scientists are able to identify what emotions people are experiencing at different times, as well as how different medicinal drugs impact them. In the future, it could theoretically be possible for physicians to effortlessly observe a patient's brain activity post-intake of psychotropic drugs and analyze the brain activity over time. Next Age The Kawada Robotics Company from Japan developed the industrial, collaborative robot called Next Age, 
The main goal of Next Age is to take over the position of humans who perform menial tasks, like those done on assembly lines. The developer of this robot claims that the machine can cooperate with human beings, other machines, and even sophisticated tools. The weight of the robot's torso is 29 kilos, and its base weight is 130 kilos. It has a range of height adjustment features, and its top height is 170 centimeters. Next Age has the ability to pick objects which weight 3 kilograms. These machines were designed to be used on production and factory assembly lines. They can be controlled with a special robot control tablet, which has intuitive software that can be easily modified to suit the needs of the individual user. 